Pro Skate Music and Review. Today we're going to be doing some more metal. Today we're going to be doing a symphonic metal band called Epica. Uh, it's a song about the machines taking over the world called Universal Death Squad. Another song requested by Watch the Skies. So far hasn't disappointed, man. He was the one that told me about Terra Maze, and they were incredible. So let's take a look at these guys. Symphonic Metal. Last video I did was all messed up because I got copyright blocked. So from now on, if it happens again, I'm just going to have to scrap it and do another one, which sucks. But the way she goes. All right. Epica, Universal Death Squad. Let's check it out. Alright, definitely symphonic as hell. Loving it. Already. I've heard of these guys before, I've just never listened to them. Well, there we go. Getting heavy already. We got a chick singer? I'm with it. Oh, beautiful. His riffs are amazing. Oh, keyboard. Love keyboard metal. I think I'm already going to love this band. I love when they have good suggestions. Pretty much all I have then. Here we go. Get going now. Ooh, nope. Oh, that keyboard is beautiful. Oh, like some opera shit. Kinda hot, huh? I love how into it these guys are. They're all just going off, putting everything into it. Excellent riffs. Got a beautiful guitar, too. I love her voice. It's not quite what I expected when I started to hear the music, but great riffs all the way through already. Some decent drumming in there. Get it on that keyboard, man. This music is great. I like a little background singing they got. That's incredible. <laughs> Inventing, improving, creating, and 
always love a sexy redhead chick. I love their styling in general. His clothing style is pretty it's metal as fuck, and it's also kind of minimal at the same time. I like it. I like her outfit. And some of the makeup they did with her, was that was pretty neat how they did that. It does make me wonder, though, how these guys sound live, because it definitely seems like there's a lot of vocal effects there, at least in this song. Obviously, she's a good singer. You can hear it when she's regular singing, but they also add that to make it sound even better. There we go. I love it. Love is screaming and that was a complete surprise. But I'm going to say this again. This is like the third song I think we've looked at so far where I've said this. He sounds exactly like the screamer in Elevati. I don't know what it is, but a lot of these guys sound, they have that same screaming style. I like it. It's real, it's kind of growly, but it's also more, I can't even say it's like a deathcore scream. It's just real growly. I like it. Oh, keyboard guy is just going off. I love that little bit right there. Oh, she going now. Listen to that. Hello? My god, those guys were killing it. Every single one of those dudes shreds. I love when people mix keyboards and metal. I think it's something that always sounds beautiful every time it's done. It's one of the reasons I love Born of Osiris so much, as they go off with this shit so much. These immense keyboard sailors that you would never expect to hear in your entire life in metal. And that dude just shreds. All of those guys are really good. There's a nice guitar solo in there. I got a really good mixture the way they do things. So a lot of just her slow singing, and then a good portion of just screaming. And then they mixed it all together beautifully, where she sang a bit, and then he came in. I like that part where he screamed a word, and then he stopped for a minute and they played some good music and he just said a couple other words like that it's pretty dope i really like these guys and honestly i don't think we need to take a look at the lyrics on this one because we know what it's about it's about the machines taking over and that's literally what it is the machines will destroy everything and take over very interesting thing i could probably see this in a like someone could make like a skyrim dub over this and i think it would be sweet of like dwemers and the ancient ruins and shit and i think that would look dope also i could see this in some kind of movie i'm, I'm thinking it kind of has that boondock saints kind of vibe some of the uh, that might sound crazy but some of the like Irish influence or something there it sounds incredible. Really good band. I love their style, and I like music videos like this more than I don't really like actual music videos that often. They're usually not that good. I'd prefer to see people either from the front, which you normally see, is them just jamming, or them like upon a burning body's done, just standing around the drum set, just all jamming the fuck out. Love it. Really cool band. I'm gonna start listening to them for sure. I'll probably check out some more of their stuff this week. I really like that one. Thank you, 
watch this guy is for recommending this to me. I absolutely love when I find a new metal band that's great that I can listen to. And maybe that'll also get me to stop listening to Chains of Agony. Because I've been listening to it like five times a day. That's it for that video. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you did, the dislike button. Comment down below what you think about this band. Any other suggestions you have for me. Thank you guys for watching. And to my subs, I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you guys. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want to see more stuff like this. Because I put it out every single day. I try to. Sometimes two. Usually I get one out a day if nothing else. Hit the notification bell. Set it to all notifications. That way you don't miss when I upload a new video. Thank you guys. Peace out.